Hey, how's it going, guys? We were talking some Penn State football today. Penn State suffered a 21-17 loss on Saturday to Michigan. A loss that certainly kind of hurts, but at this point in the season, it's just it feels almost like whatever. You know, we we know we're not that good. Um, Michigan got to give them credit; they were able to pull out a gutsy win on the road in a tough environment, something that they have rarely done in the Harbaugh era, and. Uh, I think Penn State is just faltering as a program. I think that the confidence in Franklin is dwindling. This idea that he's this really good coach that can go to USC or LSU, I think is also uh, kind of dwindling because he's clearly not this elite coach, or at least when it comes to in-game decision-making, um, just just being able to win games against good teams. He's just he's not very good at that. Sure, he's had his moments, but he's not hes not one of these coaches that you can rely on. And quite frankly, I think the question should be whether Penn State wants Franklin not the other way around because Franklin is not that great of a head coach. I mean, it's, I'm just calling a spade a spade. He's, he's not that special of a head coach. He's, he's done a good job at Penn State. I'm thankful for what he's done. He's taken Penn State to a better level than where, where he took over. But to be honest with you, it's – that only goes so far, though. It's about what have you done for me lately. And based on what he did last year, I know it was COVID, but that that only that's another thing. That excuse only goes so far too. We went four and five, and uh, this year in the Big Ten we're struggling again. We have what like three Big Ten wins or three and four in the Big Ten. Like that's unacceptable. We we expect to be competing for the very least New Year's Six bowls. You know, I mean that's that's supposed to be the the low, and we're hoping to get to the playoff and compete for a national title, and. It's hard to even think about talking about that because we have to worry about just making sure we put together decent records every year. Now it feels like, and I don't like that. We'll see how this new recruiting class does in the future, but recruiting isn't everything. It's it's also about getting the X's and O's and getting the job done on Saturdays. Having talent doesn't mean everything. And I think Penn State, in the future, they're going to have to do a whole lot of good things, a whole lot of good things that they expect to uh, get to Ohio State's level, Bama's level, Georgia's level, because uh, Georgia right now, as the number one team in the country, you've seen what they've done in the last few years in recruiting. They've been able to get these high-level athletes, and they've been able to build depth. Now, Penn State, they're not at that level, all right, which it's hard to get there, right? You're going to have to be able to recruit at a high level to do that. You have to make your facilities better, and I'm not even blaming Franklin for that necessarily. But when you look at where some of these top programs are, it seems like it's, it's more than just talent. They're just able to get the job done against these good opponents. I and mean, Alabama's kind of struggled lately, but for them to be the number two team in the country and they're still being looked at as kind of like a down year for them, I mean, that's that just shows how good Bama's been the last decade or so. And if Penn State expects to get to that kind of level, they're going to have to improve so many things. And will Franklin be the guy to get to that level? I don't think so. And if he's not the guy, then I don't know who is. You're going to have to get, like, maybe Luke Fickle from Cincinnati – He's done a really good job, but, you know, we'll see. It's it's one of these games, like, against Michigan where you'd like to win, but at the end of the day, it's it's kind of a lost season anyways as far as goals. You're not winning the Big Ten. You're not doing any of that. So I think Penn State still has something to play for in the sense they'll go to a bowl game, but um, just, just definitely a disappointing season, and we'll see how they do against Michigan State. I think they can beat Michigan State. If they can play Michigan and Ohio State tough, they can they can definitely play Michigan State tough and beat them, but we might be staring down the barrel of seven and five right now, which is very unfortunate. That's not what we're looking for heading into this season. All right, thank you guys. We are Penn State.